Hello and welcome to the Ryobi workshop. I'm here to talk about water pumps. Now, there's a lot of different pumps on the market. Transfer pumps, stick, pole or barrel and submersible pumps. All essentially move water, but each one is best for a specific task. Take this Ryobi OnePlus submersible pump or sub pump, capable of reaching depths of up to five meters, making it great for emptying hot tubs, emergency situations, pond maintenance and lowering water levels before heavy downpour. If you don't have a pump fitted, you could use this product for wildlife pond aeration, which helps improve water quality and reduce pond muck. Aerating the water is essential to maintain clear, better smelling water and an overall clean pond. Extra oxygen will help promote beneficial bacteria and attract wildlife. And the added water movement will allow nutrients to spread to plants more easily. The fast flow of this pump means you can shift 4,200 litres of water per hour, allowing you to get the job done. Another advantage of this unit is its quiet operation. Because it's placed in water, the water absorbs the sound, allowing for peaceful gardening. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. The unit itself, a wall mount for the battery box, an elbow with an outlet of an inch and a pin to secure. And depending on the kit you purchase, it may come with a battery and a charger. Getting ready to use the pump is easy. You'll need to grab a hose. This type of outlet or elbow fits a one inch discharge hose or a fabric flat lay hose. So if you're using a larger hose, fix with a Jubilee clip. This can be done effortlessly. Ensure your elbow is removed from the unit, cover this side with the hose and tighten the clip. Depending on the clip you use, you may need a small screwdriver to tighten. Put your battery in, lock it up, and just like that, you're ready to submerse and go. There is one extra thing you need to think about with this pump. Its inbuilt filtering system allows you to turn on a mesh to block out larger particles which could damage the internals of your pump. Under here, you'll find a switch. The grid icon meaning filter on, and the clear icon meaning filter off. So, if you're working with dirty water that contains sediment or small debris, such as ponds, we recommend you switch this on. Gently lower the pump into the water so it lands flat in the bottom of the waterbed. If you want, the included clip and mount allows you to fix the pump to a garden fence near a barrel. You'll just need to grab the right screws. The battery enclosure also works as the interface to intelligently alert you to what's happening with your pump. Turn it on at the press of this button and see the light turn green. This means the pump is on and in operation. The pump communicates with a beep and a light when there is no water, an overload, and when a timer is running out. You can cycle through the three timer settings of five, 10, or 15 minutes by clicking the timer icon, allowing you to move onto other garden maintenance tasks. This pump is part of the OnePlus system, meaning one battery can be used to power multiple Ryobi tools for the home and garden. So once you are in the system, you don't need to buy additional batteries and chargers. If you have a five amp hour battery, this pump will run for 30 minutes. Now you've learned pretty much everything you need to know about the OnePlus submersible pump. So you can be confident operating it next time you need to move water from A to B.